Hello everyone. Now this video will introduce to you the latest Western Digital Firmware Repair Solutions included within the DFL DDP Data Recovery Software. Now let's open the DFL DDP. So double click the channel which we have connecting the drive to. So this is the SATA 1. Uh, with one uh, Western Digital SMR hard drive connected. So this is a DDP data recovery software module. Click it. Now we enter the program. Power on. Now the drive gets ready. On the left side, we can see there is one button called Western Digital. So we can see all these buttons are the common firmware repair solution. If it has HPA, so users can use the NHPA. Remove password. If this drive has been password product protected, then users can use the remove password. For the hard drive of Western Digital, so slow responding issue is very common. So users can use this one, slow responding. So slow fix one. So it says the restoration completed. For some cases, if slow fix one doesn't work, we can try slow fix two. Mostly, we use slow fix one. But for the Western Digital SMR drives, if users wish to fix the snow issue, then users need to use this menu, change this configuration, activate and then modify, then change the reading and the write. This is the response time, sector response time. We can change it to 200. Click OK. We can check again. So this becomes valid, comes into effect. Close. So this one is for a Western Digital SMR hard drive, snow responding problem. So users need to use this menu to fix. And this is another common firmware repair solution, repair 190. The module 190 is the most important firmware module for the Western Digital SMR hard drives. So users just need to load the module 190, select the parts with the module 190, and then start to repair it. And this one, this menu is used to edit head map. Users can acquire the correct head map for this drive and click save. And multi two, this one is you uh, is usually used when the module one ninety is read or has been backed. So users can notice the T2 here. You know, in many cases, the SMR drives, they have the sector zero problem, and this module 190 cannot be noted to RAM automatically. And also sometimes when the drives become worse, or some bad sectors are within the module 190 sectors. 
and then users need to use this one to note the T2 data. T2 data is from the module 190. It's part of the module 190. So we can use this software to note the T2 data to the RAM automatically by the menu here. So this will help to fix the sector zero problem. So these three menus, edit head map and node T2, repair module 190 and change disk configuration. These three menus are especially for the Western digital SMR hard drives. Now let's check other Western Digital Firmware Repair Solution within the DFA DDP Data Recovery Equipment. Show macro code. This one just helps uh, to find the macro code of the current connected hard drive, and then users can find dollar firmware. So macro code helps to find donor firmware and reset smart this one is really used for uh, smart clearing and for uh, hard drive refurbishing node noder and for some cases if the noders such as module 11 or module 13 or some other noders cannot be noted to the pension drives automatically. So users can use this menu to note the noders. Noders must be with the same microcode as the pension drive. So users can select the noders externally to the RAM and then get the drive read and write correctly. So node noders means to node the module 11 or some other noders. And this one, slow responding fix, remove password and NHPA. So these are the common firmware repair solutions available within the DFL DDP data recovery software. For many cases, they are enough and they are very helpful. So users can use the common firmware repair solutions first and then users can set up the disk image project or file extraction project. This way users can get most of the data out of the pension drive by using the DFL DDP data recovery hardware.